Okay. Uh, Craig Mortgage as the Executive Director, Integrated Transport Planning and Department of Transport. So Craig, today's announcement is $129 million over four years for bike infrastructure. How's that going to be broken down? Broken down? Okay, for the size, we'll be that is actually the principal share of half, so it's about $55 million. Um, then we've got the increase in grants to local government, so we're going to about $2.5 million per year up to $5 million over the next couple of years. Uh, the Safe Active Streets program, or Bike Boulevard program, continues at $3 million per year. And the rest is the uh, investment major projects like the Northlands, uh, and the Calamander Road, Bates of Ration, Royal Highway, those sorts of projects. So quite a lot of diverse needs to cater for all, all types of cycles out there. And so you said $55 million for the PSP program. Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, we are looking at around $7 million a year in the Ford estimates previously. So this almost doubled the, the money that was previously allocated towards the PSP network. Correct. So we're getting to the stage where we get in two years' time by like $20 million per year. So we can treat PSPs like a road project, actually building many kilometres rather than one or two kilometres at a time. That brings the company a scale, we get better value for money, and importantly we actually ride a decent length of path, so we get more cyclists using the path from day one. So Craig, big announcement today uh, for the bike riding community, and something that you've obviously been pushing for for quite some time. Then to get your thoughts on the additions that were announced today and the new network and what that's going to do for bike riding. There's certainly a key achievement for us through the expansion of the PSP money. So particularly between the freeway, all over Hunt Street, on our most of the plane, with our sections of path. We can now get out there and build that fairly quickly. Uh, we've got that included part of the Mitchell Freeway widening project, so that's already been out to express of interest. So the next stage is to get the pricing in for that. Uh, so that's a great bit for cycling. Very heavy uh, bit of use out there. We'll expect the cycling to double on that bit of path, uh, similar to what we see in numbers in terms of uh, And, and the other one I'm um, keen to chat about is the Fremantle um, connection down here. And as you said, that this is probably the most complained about piece of infrastructure we've got. I'd say the second most complained about one is probably the way that the, the PSP are properly finished the transcript. So I'm really pleased to see that that's now in the plan. Yes, yeah, sir. That's what it is the second most complained about, particularly around the Rick Street where you, are, you lose your cycle line. So certainly a great safety improvement down there. Uh, looking about 2021, so still some years away, but not too far away. We've got the inside there. So North Lincoln got 45 kilometres of shared path. This is a fantastic investment in major projects. So when we build these major projects, the cost of building a shared path is about somewhere between uh, one tenth and about 30 percent of the cost. So very good investment value for money. Uh, this will take you all the way to New Shea. So there'll be two twofold use of the path. One's commuting to areas like Alaga, uh, but also a great training stop the other way to New Shea, where the heart, people really want to get decent days in and go up there quite safely and uh, come back again.